What's up guys, Frugal BC today, got some Algorand news for you. I always love to have new news as the price uh, going up from earlier in the week. Got some really good news about Algorand development, a few different things about Algorand development, and uh, some, some interesting things about non-fungible domains. So let's we're gonna look at the price and how it's done this week, so stay tuned. Lots of cool things coming, and by the way, if you like these videos, hit the like and subscribe button, please. You don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. Works just fine that way as well. And, we we're brought to you by non-fungible domains. Guys, if, you want, if you're sick of that really confusing letters and numbers for your address and you want to just make it a lot simpler, uh, non-fungible domains makes them a lot easier to remember. Frugalbc.algo is mine. And uh, they also got vaults and segments, so be sure to check them out. Also, we're brought to you by Fractal Monsters. Um, I just played this game the other day again. Always new updates in there. Every time I come, it seems like. I mean, they're just continually building. It's kind of like a Tamagotchi, Pokemon, maybe a little Smash Brothers thrown in there kind of a game. So it's fun. You can play it for free or you can get NFTs to unlock a lot of the earning potential. So check that out. Both of those in the description below. But now let's get to today's news. And why don't we just start with the price? Because I think that's really interesting. So as we got this pull up, we're just below 27 cents. We had actually... Uh, uh, gotten to 28 cents and we were kind of strong on there lately got this little candle it kind of popped down down to 20 actually touched that 26 line a couple six cents line a couple times but I think I mean I think it's pretty obvious every time we have one of these little pullbacks it's just leading to a a bigger pullback there we go over 27 that's great and uh you know, basically the main thing is that we're on the way up. So every time we got one of these little pullbacks, it could be a little buying opportunity. Look at that one down to, that one we had down to 22 cents would have been a good chance to buy back in. That's kind of what I've been doing this entire bull run with various coins. Uh, every time there's a, every time there's a pullback, I'll just, you know, every time there's a big pullback, I'll just, uh, I'll just pop more of my profits back in and uh, take take them out again when it ri rises again. I mean, it's a good trading opportunities right now. I don't really consider myself a trader, but it's not, it's not God, it's barely even trading at this point. It's like, it's so easy. It, there's such easy wins during the bull run. And the bear, you just kind of have to accumulate and feel like you're taking the L. That's how this stuff works. And I'll grant I'm not really doing, I'm not really taking profits because I just have other mechanisms for making money. I'm not really counting per se on the price increase. I kind of am though, because, you know, like, I have a lot of uh, Algorand working in the USDC Algorand pool. And, you know, the, when the price goes up, at some point, once we hit peak bull, I will probably transition all that to stables to kind of lock in the uh, the heights, so to speak. So, But I'm not really doing it the same way I am the other coins where once it hits a price target, I just take a little more profit. So a very different approach. Anyway, I want to... I want to switch over to some Algorand development news. A lot of my stuff right now revolves around Algorand development and some interesting statistics and uh, announcements coming for it, including uh, one about Python. So uh, let me share a couple things with you. And this first one comes courtesy of Elder. I think he's one of the interesting people to follow on Twitter. It says Algorand is a dead chain. He meant to say a dead chain. Is a dead chain with no developers? Well, according to this chart from uh, Top 7 ICO, uh, top blockchains by commits and development activity in the last seven days Algorand has seen more than Ethereum in that last seven days this was published March 6th uh, followed by Ethereum, Polkadot, Cosmos, BNB Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum, Shello, Internet Computer, and then Optimism. So kind of funny because some of the some of the chains that people are moving to have had less activity <laughs> Uh, than the others, and and that's uh, I think that's very very interesting. But it's interesting too because I'm not sure what that number underneath. Okay, blocked. Those are by commits. Uh, active developers, of course, far fewer. Algorand would be on the end of the chart if it was uh, marked off that way. But as far as uh, the commits, it means Algorand mm, Algorand developers are building a lot. They're building a lot. <laughs> the ones that are there are building a lot of weekly commits. That's very interesting. Now active developers that's quite a bit lower so I, th I do think that's important to look at i wonder if anyone in the comments noticed that because i just think that's really interesting but this says it's misleading it says algorand has 3560 developers not 68 it's misleading but yeah then you have to go back and compare them you know you got to compare apples to apples so if you're going to use alternative metrics you have to take those same metrics and use them for algorand as well and i'm not seeing that here yeah so it really doesn't mean much unless you're 
comparing like, but I will say I've seen metrics like that that seem ridiculously low. The one that, uh, re- what, what's that guy's name again? Real Invest or something like that. Whatever that guy, I can't even think of his name now. He made that Algorand video and I kind of blew it up, <laughs> took it down. Um, guy, he had like, like, what did he have? Like 12 developers. I'm like, dude, there's more than 12 projects on Algorand. Was, I think it was even lower. It might've been single digits. Just something absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, you do have to think really, really carefully. Like 68, what is an active developer? 68, I might almost believe, maybe. But the thing is like, whatever it's wrong, I assume it's wrong for all of them. Cause I, I'm not gonna believe that there's the same number of developers on Algorand than Ethereum. Cause there's far more projects. So how could there be, there, there probably would be more developers. So if you think about it as a ratio, I'm guessing it's probably accurate. But the best you could say is that there just isn't good enough metrics right now. Speaking of, frankly, I don't know if this is going to change anything, but breaking AlcoKit 2.0 with full Python support comes to Algorand in 20 days. Now, this was shared yesterday, so that would be 19 days as I record this on Friday. And so if you're watching it later, you might even see this even later than that. But yeah, full Python support, uh, pure Python, I think is a great idea. I think this is anything. It's, it's unequivocally a good thing to do stuff that reduces friction for developers and makes it easy. Don't think that's the only criteria that develop that project developers are choosing when they choose a project. They're not saying, well, you know, if there were five, let's say there were five people <laughs> using Algorand, it wouldn't matter how easy it is, they wouldn't do it. Now, obviously there isn't five people, there's quite a few more than that, but I know that the number of users which right now, those are kind of the target market, which I think we should move beyond, by the way. I think we should move beyond the people using the chain now. Companies should be building on Algorand to bring in people from all over. So it should be just a product that people can use no matter who you are. The the technology should be in the background, in my opinion. That's that's when this stuff really takes off. Right now, I think it's a hobby. And crypto is a hobby, a very expensive hobby. But it's, and what do I mean by that? And, then, and it's, pe- it's people who are like really devoted to this. Because I'll tell you, I've tried to get, I've tried to teach people to use crypto that aren't crypto people. And this stuff is like even the simplest things that you and I would take for granted. They do not. It's really challenging for them. Yeah, and Michael, Michael, Michael's great by the way. I love uh, him pointing stuff out. Is uh, interesting. So we heard from the heard from the University of Florida computer science teacher. He's saying he's super excited for all the students to code on Algorand. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean maybe that's a good point. Actually, something I hadn't really considered is uh, if you're new to if you're like a computer science student or you're just getting into Python, you're like, oh cool, I can just use Python. Maybe I want to start playing around with some blockchain stuff. Well, uh, I can do that on Algorand and I don't have to learn a new language. I don't have to learn Solidity or Rust or... Wait, what was the other one? There's another... What's the one for um, Solana? I can't remember now. Um, there's a few different crypto specific languages but yeah if i can just learn python well that's that makes it a lot easier i already know how to do that so yeah i think that's really neat i got one more piece of news for you on that and it's kind of along the same lines uh we have a new developer portal coming this year that will bring world-class stocks this is from john allen woods the cto of algorand chief technical officer he's been on the show before uh we are working on so much for 2024 the team are pushing as hard as possible for now drop me a dmm and i'll set up a call with our infrastructure engineer to answer your questions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to have a portal there for people. A lot of people seem to like it. Commodus says, thanks for a detailed reply, John. Appreciate that. Would you like to discuss those things on Commodus Space in one to two weeks? Great to hear. Documentation examples are critical to making it easier for devs to onboard. AlgoKit is off to a great start. Hey, John, not sure if you were aware of Laravel, but it's a documentation on... T- its documentation is top-notch. Main developers find it highly productive. Take a look and strive for similar quality in Algorand docs. Is that Python? Looks Python y. Can't tell exactly. PHP framework. Anyway, I find that very interesting. Uh, lots of good developer news, isn't there? It's not all developer news. As you know, we are sponsored by non fungible domains, and we got a little update from them that I think is cool, worth sharing. I always like to disclose that you don't, so you understand where I'm coming from. And this is that the DeFi wallet is rolling out non fungible domains vault support. So you can send any asset to anybody's non fungible domain. Algorand has a strong pr- spam protection design, no opt in, no reception. Until now, look out for juicy airdrops and token distributions. Yeah, so this is a kind of a debate in the Algorand community. Like, should you get, you know, the opt-in thing? Some people find it 
really irritating, some don't. The cool thing is that people can't just spam me with a bunch of BS, which is kind of cool. The downside is like it makes airdrops kind of a pain. Like someone wanted to send me a token today and I had to go through some steps to get it. So I'm always, there's always part of me that's like, eh, do I really want to mess around with this? Like I got other stuff to do, but yeah, whatever. Um, so that's cool. You'll be able to send it right to the vault and uh, you won't have to worry about it, but it'll be stuck on the vault. Like I had someone send me, uh, an NFT, <laughs> which kind of surprised me. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, didn't even know I had it cause I didn't, I didn't check my vault very often. Yeah, I can see here, just sending a little bit of coop. Boom, boom, boom. Send it to the wallet. That's a great idea. I hope Para's working on that as well. Um, you know, some people have asked me to do a, a video on DFly and I downloaded it. I thought it was interesting, but it didn't really compel me to nothing. Nothing seems super compelling to me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if people make a strong use case for why I should, but what's, what, what are the big advantages? Maybe I'll, uh, I'll relook at it, but this is pretty cool. I think that's an advantage. That's step one. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's really it for me this week. Uh, just a short update. I want to add some stuff in there. Uh, we might be doing a live stream tomorrow because um, I want to cover the, uh, I kind of want to go through and react to the uh, the meeting, the all hands meeting is, uh, this week. Didn't get a chance to, I would have liked to have live stream it, uh, but I have a day job, so <laughs> couldn't do that. But uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll go through that on the live stream and uh, maybe have some people on. We'll see. Uh, I might invite a few folks on to chat it up. So keep an eye out. It should be 3 p.m. tomorrow, barring any uh, any non sense or chaos and otherwise i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update uh, like i said it's always great to see algorand going in the right direction you know, i think at this point um a lot of the stuff i advised in the bear market is now kind of reversed where i said don't uh, i said you know only hold stables in your liquidity pools now i think it's not a bad thing to have algorand uh, exposure to algorand because i think it's going to be going up maybe not as much as the other coins I've discussed my price prediction in other videos, but now is when you can have more exposure to Algorand in those pools and you'll probably be rewarded for it. Most likely that's what I'm doing anyway. Uh, so anyway, stay safe out there. Enjoy the bull run. We are we are heading up now and this is the fun part of crypto. This is the part where all that all that uh, teeth grinding in the in the bear market starts paying off. So enjoy that. Stay safe out there. I'm FrugalBC and I will see you in the future.